Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a navigation bar that is going to hide when the user scrolls down and then reappear when scrolling back up. So um, this is very easy to achieve with a little bit of JavaScript and um, you can easily add it to your existing website. So the main motivation behind something like this might be to simply give your users some more screen real estate so they can read more text right up top here. So going inside this tab right here, I've got a sample, really simple uh, HTML navigation bar. So we're going to be upgrading this to be, of course, this right here. Now, all of the source code for this, uh, this video is going to be linked down below if you want to follow along. So going inside the text editor, I've got something like this. We've got the navigation element with a class of nav, and we have the three nav links here with a class of nav underscore underscore link. So we're going to begin with the CSS going up inside the style. We're going to be targeting the body first. We're going to be declaring a CSS variable here. We can say dash dash nav dash height. So basically we're assigning our nav height to 50 pixels. And if you haven't seen this CSS variable before, basically it's a reusable variable, which we're going to be using multiple times in our code. Okay. So drop down here, we can say padding top of var then pass through nav height. So basically by setting this right here, we're simply saying padding top of 50 pixels. Now, what is this padding for? Basically because the navigation bar is going to float above everything else on the web page, it is going to hide the text content on your page um, behind it if you don't have this padding top. Um, this padding top is going to basically push everything down that way your text is still going to be fully visible when the user is, you know, using your website. Okay, cool. So dropping down here, let's now target the nav class. Okay. And for this, we're going to be setting a width of 100% and a height of 50 PX. Now this right here, once again, let's make this var and say nav heights for our variable version of that 50 PX. We can also say a position of fixed that way it's going to float above everything else on the web page um, and a top of zero and a left of zero that way it's going to be in the top left corner and also a background here of uh, 009578 for my decode green color so if i save this go inside the browser we get something like this so now uh, we're going to be styling up our um, our links here just really, uh, really, really quickly to make them centered. So for this, we're going to be setting a display of flex and align items of center as well as a box shadow here of 0, 0, 10 px RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.2. This is completely optional. It's up to you guys how you want to style up your navigation bar. Save this back in the browser and we get something like this. So now let's add some styles to the actual text itself. So I'll just copy and paste some very basic CSS for the navigation link class right here. That's color, text decoration, margin, and font weight. Save this back in the browser and we get something like this. Okay. So now let's work on the actual uh, navigation bar scrolling behavior itself. So for this, we need, uh, we need to firstly have some content to scroll down. Okay. So I'll copy and paste my paragraph tags from the previous example inside a div here. So of course it's uh, fully optional here. You know, this will be your actual content. Okay. I'll minimize this div and now of course we can scroll down and actually test the solution. Okay. And we can see here the actual, uh, um, the uh, content is going to start 50 pixels from the top uh, given our padding top here. If we don't have the padding top, we can see it gets hidden. So that's why that padding top was there previously. Anyway, going inside the JavaScript in the body of the HTML, we're going to firstly be grouping together all of our code. So by putting a block right here, basically we'll just say something like this, enable hidden navbar. So all that code is going to be contained within this block. Okay. Then we're going to say const nav is equal to document.query selector. We're going to select the class of nav. So basically this nav here is going to be essentially this nav inside the JavaScript. Okay. Getting it by class, right? Then we're going to say let last scroll y is equal to window.scroll y. So basically, we need to determine if the user is scrolling up or scrolling down. This right here helps us achieve that. So 
If I log out the value of window.scrollY, let's see what happens. Back inside the browser, if I log out window.scrollY, we get 0. If I scroll down and do it again, we get 133. If I scroll down some more, do it again, uh, 232. If I scroll up, we get 87. So basically, this number is the number of pixels which the user is currently scrolled down on the Y axis. So, we're going to be storing the current scroll Y when the page first loads up. Then, we're going to say window.addEventListener, listen for the scroll event. Whenever the user scrolls down the web page, this function is going to run. It's going to run many times whenever they're scrolling, okay? Then, inside here, we need to compare the last scroll Y value with the current scroll Y value. And that is going to determine our up or down. So, we'll say if the last scroll Y is less than the current window.scroll Y, then we can just say console.log uh, we are going down. Okay, just like that. Else, if that's not the case, we're going to be going up. So, go inside here and we'll say up. So, obviously, if your previous scroll Y is less than your current scroll Y, you're going down. Okay? So, if I save this, go inside the browser. If I then scroll up, we get, we are scrolling up. If I scroll down, we get, okay, that's, that's an issue. Now, why is this happening? The reason is, is because we need to redeclare the last scroll Y. So once this code has been run and we've checked the last scroll Y, we need to say last scroll Y is equal to the current scroll Y. That way, when the function runs again, it's going to use your previously set scroll Y, giving you up to date information. Back inside here, try it again, scroll down, we get, we're going down, scroll up, we get up. So we get down, then we get up right there. So that's working, okay? So now, how do we make the navigation bar hide? For this, inside here, we're going to say nav.classList.add. We're going to be adding a class of nav-hidden. So, we're going to be applying some CSS for this class very shortly, but basically, we're going to be adding this class when hiding the navigation bar. When we are making it reappear, we simply remove the nav hidden class, and when this runs, it's going to be visible again. Okay, so save this back in the browser. Let's watch the elements tab right here on the nav. Scroll down, hidden, there we go. Scroll up, gone away. Scroll down, hidden, up, it's gone away. So, let's go in the CSS now and we're going to target the nav hidden class. So for this one, we can simply say transform and we'll say translate y negative 50 px. So basically, we're going to be moving or shifting the navigation bar off the screen. So we're going to move its negative 50 pixels in the y direction. Because 50 is the same height as the variable up here, it's going to hide the entire navigation bar off the screen in the upwards direction. But let's make use of that variable. To achieve that, we can say calc, then say negative 1 times var, then nav height. So basically, negative 1 times 50 gives us negative 50, and we're simply reusing our variable there. We're going to also say a box shadow of none, just to remove that box shadow. Save this back in the browser, scroll down and it goes away. Scroll up and it comes back. So let's apply a nice smooth transition now uh, so it fades away nicely. To achieve that, back inside here, we can say transition on the nav class and we'll just say uh, transform at 0.2 seconds. That way it takes 0.2 seconds to change the transform, giving us a nice smooth transition and we can see that happening right up there. So. That is how to create a navigation bar that is going to hide when scrolling down. Um, if today's video helped you out, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.